So today is just a quick unboxing to show you an accessory that really is quite the thing in the world of mechanical keyboards. And while I'm talking about these with regards to keyboards, I don't see any reason why you couldn't use them for charging or connecting other stuff to your computer and keeping a theme or aesthetic going on for your desk. Cablelab.co.uk sent these over to me and they're to match up with my green IQNIX F60 2020 as well as my white GK61X build, both of which are videos coming up very shortly. Although obviously they can be used with any keyboard that in this case takes a USB-C, but you can choose any connectors that you like. For anyone new to custom cables, it seems that coiled cables really are in fashion at the moment. They definitely have a funky look on your desk and at the same time they do offer a real benefit. The ones we're looking at today are split cables and use SF12 connectors to, well, connect things together. Um, but obviously you can choose other connectors as well, but you don't even have to have a connector at all if you don't want to. However, having one means that I can have one end permanently attached to my iMac, and then with the other one I can remove just the coiled section, so I can either change it up for different keyboard fittings, or I can change it up for different colours, or different aesthetics but it just makes that whole situation a lot easier. Obviously having the coil there means that if you do pull your keyboard or your keyboard gets knocked or something along those lines, it's less likely to just pull out of the connector and upsetting things. It's going to have some give in there as well. So there is definitely a practical benefit as well as the aesthetic. The cablelab.co.uk website is where you go to build your custom cable, that's where I went for mine. And this is where you choose the lengths, if you do or don't want a coil, what connections need to be used, if you want a connector, and if so, which one. Then you get to choose from the huge amount of options when it comes to cable colours and wrap. And when it comes to the colours, they're actually made by putting paracord over the cable itself. There really are a huge amount of colours available and plenty of options, so you can try and get the right tone to match up with your keyboard, or if you're unsure about colours, I'm sure you could drop Tom a message at Cable Lab and he'll sort you out and help you get as close as possible. When I spoke to him about what I'd want, he was super helpful. After choosing the paracord colour, then you get to choose if you want a TechFlex double sleeve. This adds a little extra protection, but it does give the cable a funky look as well because it's a kind of a wiry mesh that goes over the top of the paracord. Again, plenty of colour options there, and you could really get some stark contrasts. I'm pretty sure that a, a yellow TechFlex over a purple cable would be pretty nuts to be fair. So this is how mine came to me in a nice little branded box there. We've got a certificate of authenticity and that's showing us who signed it off and who made it as well as the date on there as well and any serial number that they've given it. This one was made by Tom. I chose to have one single cable coming from my computer at all times, so I went for a darker option on this one. This one is a brown with the white tech flex going around the outside of it. As you can see, this is the female side of the SF connector. And this is the USB-A that goes into the back of the Mac. This TechFlex gives it a strange feel. It's kind of firm, but also still pliable. It's very weird, but it's uh, I'm okay with it. Obviously, we have heat shrink at both ends of the cable as well for a little bit extra protection in there. Then the first one to unpack here is the coil, which is, I think it was the 15 centimeter coil that I went for. This is the female, the male side, sorry, of the SF connector. And then you can see the cable and the coil itself. As I mentioned before, this is baked in. So it helps the elasticity of the whole thing, keeping its shape before it's reverse wound to make sure it's extra springy and nice and tight. And it does a fine job. I chose a USB-C to go into my keyboards, but you do have other options as well. Now, this is the green one. This is the green, I think it was a fern green, if memory serves correctly. Fern green with the, the light color tech flex going around the outside. Again, another USB-C. Again, you can choose your own depending on what your keyboard has. And on the other side, the same female SF connector. This is what the green cable looks like on my F60 and the white cable on the GK61. But that's it. The cost does very much depend on the choices that you make. 
Is it worth the money? That's entirely up to you. But for me, it's one of those things where you've worked hard to get a keyboard looking the way you want it. You don't necessarily always want just a minging old cable poking out the back and you want something to frame up your hard earned work or hard earned money spent uh, with the keyboard itself. I think they look pretty cool. They're certainly very cool and very, very in vogue at the moment. Uh, but if you want to check your one out for yourself, go across to cablelab.co.uk and use the code stuff in my studio to get yourself 10% off I believe that is an affiliate link just to be absolutely transparent but you do get a little bit off from using it so that's it thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon